So I don't know where my uh, freaking GoPro is. I'm using my phone right now. Um, I need to clean up in here because it looks disgusting. I don't know what I'm going to do with this just yet. Um, I might just fix the head gasket and then sell it. Or maybe build it and then put it in the coop with a turbo on it. I don't know. Who knows? I have no idea yet. Um, but I'm not concerned with that right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to clean up in here, get my mounts in here, and then I need to mount my transmission onto my engine, and then I can throw this crap in here. But um, I'm going to actually leave all my AC lines and all that crap. I'm going to just clean them up, make them look a little bit better. But I'm going to leave them here because I might try to run my AC at some point. Well, I'm definitely going to at least try see if I can get it to work. For whatever reason, I couldn't get it to work when I had a single cam in here. But um, I still haven't changed this thing here. And I did change the compressor, but I used like an old compressor. Um, these lines could be leaking. But basically, the, the compressor wasn't kicking off, so... I need to figure that out. Alright, so I'm cleaning this off and it's actually coming out pretty clean. You can actually see it look purple now. <laughs> it don't look perfect. Like, it don't look like how um, the stock paint looks, but uh, I mean, she was better than how it looked at first at least. So if I can clean the whole engine bay and it look at least like this, because right now it looks disgusting. <laughs> If I can get it to at least look like this, then that'll be fine. I won't feel the need to paint it or nothing. I'll just rock it how it is. I forgot I was going to actually show y'all this this time, but uh, I guess it is what it is. Um, yeah, all I did was took... Normally, I would use two uh, crescent, witch... <coughs> crescent wrenches, <laughs> but uh, I actually used the 18 millimeter. And uh, I turned this top one, and then I held the bottom one with the crescent wrench, and I tightened it. And there's this little brass fitting in there that compresses onto the the line to stay in place. And that's how it keeps from coming off, and that's also how it don't leak. <laughs> I'm over here telling y'all that, and I didn't even show y'all how clean it came out. <laughs> Looks pretty decent. Uh, good enough, I guess. That right there kind of sucks, but oh well, I can't really fix that without sanding it down and painting it or something. So from what I remember, this was stupid hard to do last time, but uh, just right now, I just grabbed it and picked it up and it just slid straight on, surprisingly. <laughs> so um, all I got to do is rotate it and then go ahead and get some bolts in there. Man, so I forgot that you're supposed to have that other bolt up in there already. I'm finna just have one bolt on my starter. Oh well. <laughs> so I really was about to have just one bolt up in there, but I changed this bottom half of my casing. And apparently this one is like low-key stripped out until it's a little bit deeper in there. As you can kind of see. So, unfortunately, I can't just have one bolt on there. <laughs> so, I gotta take this off and put another one on there. Unfortunately. Alright, so at this point, it's pretty much ready. <laughs> ready. It's pretty much ready for uh, me to drop the swap in. Um, I don't know. I might just jack it up from this side. And then push it in here. It'll be easier since, you know, it's already on this side. Normally, I always do it from the left side. I don't know why. I guess it's just a preference, but yeah. Actually, I just remember I still got to take that D-Series linkage off. All right. So, um, I'm trying to remember how I could have possibly did this because <laughs> it's not even... The jack is pretty close to being all the way down for us. I actually can't see nothing in my fault. It's almost all the way all the way down where I have it right now, but I can't really put it anywhere else because I ain't gonna be able to jack it up high enough. I really don't remember how I did this, to be completely honest. 
that's about to hit, so I gotta move the alternator. Or I gotta move it back. And then, um, this is way off, so I gotta line that up. I jacked my TPS up again. Luckily, I have another one, so it really don't matter, but hopefully I didn't damage this thing, which it's moving, so I might have, or it might just be loose, I don't know. Hopefully it's good. If not, uh, I'll have to buy another adapter. And ain't no telling how long they'll take to send that out. And it's almost on my transmission. It's extremely close, matter of fact. I'm glad I even caught that right now. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, I got it in. What I ended up having to do was um, jacking the car up a little bit until the engine came off the ground enough. The engine and the radiator support to come off the ground enough for me to slide my the little red jack right there <laughs> jacked it up enough to slide that one underneath here onto the center of the oil pan and then I jacked up the engine from the oil pan until it was lining up enough for me to get these bolts into here so um, those are all good to go Probably need to be tightened later on but it don't matter because i'm gonna end up having to loosen them up because uh i don't have a t-bracket on there and a t-bracket is gonna be a pain so yeah <laughs> not looking forward to that i think it looks pretty decent in here though um i mean the different color blues <laughs> low-key throws it off but uh it's not going to stay this color anyways. Um, pretty sure I'm going to be getting it painted back to this OEM purple color. It's going to look a whole lot better than that though. The engine bay looks trash. Uh, let's see if I can find a spot that looks good where they left the original paint. Um, this looks alright. But yeah, that paint color looks sick to me. I like all the different flake and whatnot in there metallic flake yeah i'm tripping tell me why i'm this far into doing this and then i just thought about it i was like wait i don't even have a clutch fork in there <laughs> so now i gotta pull the trans back off again i'm hot matter of fact before i even do that um what i'm gonna actually do is throw my uh Throw my shift linkage on real quick and see how it feels. Make sure it's not, uh, you know, make sure the transmission feels normal. Matter of fact, I probably don't even have to do all that. All right, let's see. Get it in neutral, but I'm struggling. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's reverse. That's fifth. That's second. Oh, goodness. And that's first or second one or two I forget but um yeah it felt fine luckily but that's so unfortunate dude I don't want to have to take this crap off <laughs> I'm so stupid how did I do this <laughs> Alright, so I ended up having to pull the whole freaking engine out again. <clears throat> I just couldn't get the transmission back on while I was in the engine bay. Um, I don't know what it was. It was just giving me trouble. Well, it was mainly the subframe. It was all up in the way. You can see right there. The transmission kept hitting me. Um, so now I got to pull the transmission from under there. Throw it back on. And then throw all this crap back in there. Man, I'm so annoyed. All right, got the trans back on. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> that didn't take that long. It probably took like five minutes, but the whole process of doing that crap, pulling this out again and all that, took me like 20 minutes. So, so yesterday we started off the day um, 
cleaning out this engine bay because it was super filthy. So we cleaned it out, um, got rid of all the different little miscellaneous brackets that I don't need, like the ones that be holding the harness in place and all that. I have a tucked harness, so I don't need none of those. Um, the fuel filter thing, we got rid of that because I have that fuel filter for the 85 that just comes straight off of the hard line. Um, what else? That's basically it. Um, did all that and then tossed the engine in. <sighs> Only thing is, um, I think I'm gonna need to buy a new exhaust. From what I've seen, they said that you can't use the, uh, the coupe and the hatch don't use the same exhaust, so I guess I'm gonna have to buy a different one. Um, that sucks, but it is what it is. I guess I can go three inch if I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I just gotta get everything done, get everything back together, and yeah. <laughs>